Hello everybody and welcome to one of my favorite times of the month, real real payout time. As I've told you in all of these real real update videos, the real real pays out on the 15th of every month for the sales of the last month. So tomorrow, the real real will be paying out all of my October sales. And right around that time, I always like to do one of these videos and let you guys know what the real real took from me and what they sold of mine in the past month so that you guys know what kind of things you should send in if you want to use the real real and what kind of things sell well on there. So let's just jump into it. And as usual, I'm alone in this video because I am the big real real user in the household. Ryan doesn't do it much, so I always do these alone because he wouldn't really have much to share and it'd be kind of confusing to do it. Oh, and surprise, I have a head of hair. I know so many people say all the time, do you even have hair? <laughs> like, wow, I can't believe you have hair when they like watch old videos. Lots of you that are new subscribers probably have never even seen my hair because I wear hats so often nowadays. But yes, I have hair. I just like, I'm I'm so ultra lazy that I put hats on like every day and I think I look pretty good in hats. So yeah, I have hair. This is how I style it if I have no hat on. Yeah, so I have hair, wow. Groundbreaking, earth shattering, quaking. Let's start with the things that they took from me this month and then we'll get into what sold. There is gonna be some crossover and you'll notice that. So the first thing that they took from me was this Givenchy striped silk tie. This they listed for $25. Now, obviously this is a tie, 25 bucks is pretty decent. And I got these in the bins. One time I found a whole bin of a bunch of designer ties and I grabbed a lot of them and sent them all in. Unfortunately, about half of them were stained, but you'll see throughout that they took some of them. Next up is this fur mink hat. This was a bins find and because it was mink, I wanted to try sending it in because I know sometimes they'll take rare and exotic furs of like hats and gloves and coats and stuff as long as there's no flaws and there weren't any flaws on this. And so they took this and they priced it at 225 and that's awesome for something I found in the bins. Next up is this Givenchy silk printed tie, another one from that same bunch. And again, they priced it at 25. This Christian Dior V-neck sweater. This I got from Online Arbitrage. I bought a bundle of stuff and this was in it. And they priced it at $1.95. I tried to get them to price it up a little bit more because you can do that if you email them. They sometimes will start a request for you to raise the price and then they'll send it to their price reviewers and then they can possibly raise it or they can just deny it. They denied this, but if it had been priced over 200, I would have got 70% once it's sold. But since it's under 200, I think I get like 55%. Next is this Carlo Felchy Python crossbody bag. This was a bins find. This was in my Google pile at the bins. If you watched our last video on bins tips, we always make a Google pile of brands and items that we don't recognize that seem like they could be something. And this was one of them. And I saw that the real real took it. And so I wanted to send it to them and they took it right away, even though I don't know if it's on their list. And it's listed for $165, which from the bins, that's an awesome price. Up next, another bins find is this Cinzia Roca long wool coat. This was another Google Pile item. It seemed really nice and the label looked really fancy. And as you can see by this picture, this is such a luxe, gorgeous looking coat. Like I'm obsessed with this. The belt is just beautiful. How it's like thinner and then wider and how they tied the knot, it all looks beautiful. They priced this at $325. Cinzia Roca coats are in the thousands. Next up is this Theory v-neck short sleeve shirt. Theory has dropped off of their list of designers that they're accepting, but per usual, I will link below my real, real how-to video, and I teach you guys how you can send in items that aren't on their designer list. They take them quite often. Vince, Theory, the Felchy, I don't think was. Cinzia Roca might not even been on their list. Saks Fifth sometimes, all kinds of brands. This they priced at 50, but it was a Theory basic t-shirt. I knew they'd price it at 50, and that's okay with me. I don't think I could sell it on Posh. These Tory Burch logo thong sandals, they priced at 50 bucks. They have some wear on the back and they weren't doing very well for me. I don't think Tory Burch flip flops do well on Posh anymore. They used to, not anymore. So I sent mine in. As I said, Saks Fifth Avenue, this is definitely not on their list, but they took it from me and they priced it at $85. It's a cashmere purple v-neck sweater. I sent this in quite a few times. You gotta try multiple times sometimes if it's something that's not on their list. List. or even if it is on their list, sometimes they'll be like, there's a tear 
there when there's like nothing. And so you just try it again and then they take it. They priced it at 85 bucks and they finally took that. Theory, Peak Lapel Blazer. $80, that's fine with me. This I had to send in like two or three times. That price is fine with me. Again, I don't think I could sell this very well on Posh. Maybe if I put it on eBay or something, it would do okay, but I didn't want to try that, so. Francesco Biasia, this was a thrift store find, but the name sounded super familiar to me. And I looked it up and they're pretty expensive bags. It was only like four bucks and I might've even had a coupon. So I was totally willing to take the risk. Wasn't on their list. And so I did have to send it in about three times and they finally took it and they priced it at 65 bucks. But again, if I paid like three bucks, that's fine. The North Face Fleece Zip Up Sweatshirt. This was a bin find. As I say in a lot of videos, I only really get the North Face at the bins unless there's maybe a down or a super like trendy kind of coat. But all the fleece and stuff is from the bins and this they priced at $50. I know North Face is actually on their designer list. I would assume it still is because we're entering winter, but it definitely isn't all year round. So if you have some North Face sitting around, I would definitely send it in. DNG Dolce Gabbana Crystal Gloria Watch. And if you notice me looking down, that's because all of my information is down there. This they priced at 75 bucks. I had to send this in twice because it does have some strap wear on it. This was another online arbitrage situation. I ended up getting it super cheap. I think it cost me about 10 bucks. Priced it at 75, like I said, and that's decent. I'm sure it'll be couponed all the way down and sell for not $75. We'll see how much money I make from that. Clue two, but, oh my God. I always stumble over this word in these videos if you've seen my other ones. Batau, batu neck. It's just boat neck. I don't know why they gotta act all fancy. <laughs> Short sleeve t-shirt. They priced this at 50 bucks. I kind of had a feeling they would do that. I think it's the same situation as that Biasia bag where I did get it at a thrift store, but it was dirt cheap. That's fine with me. Theory, striped tie neck top. This is a really rough picture, first off. <laughs> priced it at 60 bucks. It was a bins find, definitely. Not the cutest theory at all. Wish they would have taken a better picture. Sometimes if you use the real reel, you'll notice that some of their pictures are rough. This is one of them, whatever. <laughs> Andrew Mark mid-rise skinny pants. Andrew Mark is not on their designer list, but I sent these in, I think three times and they finally took them and they priced them at 75 bucks. These were really nice. They were like neoprene, navy blue pants. They would be a comfortable AF, so I'm glad they took them. Fendi silk abstract print tie. This one was from that same group of ties and I actually just sent this one in twice because the first time they said tearing. I looked it over when I got it back. There was no tearing. If you don't know, the Real Real does send everything back for free. White and Warren embellished A-line skirt. This was a bins fine. This was a pretty atrocious skirt in my opinion. I really don't like the color. I don't like the waist. The embellishments were, mm. I could have never sold this myself. It is listed for 50 dollars and they took it the first time I sent it. I don't think it's on the list though. North Face crew neck long sleeve sweatshirt. They priced it 75 bucks. Another bins find. That's a perfectly fine price for me if it was a bins find. Norma Kamali puffer coat. I actually paid up a little bit at a thrift store for this. I think it was $16 and I had 20% off, but I knew that they would take it and price it up quite a bit because this is her iconic. She calls it the sleeping bag coat. This is like a not as intense version of it that she made. This, they priced it 205 bucks. So it was definitely worth paying up for. And it's actually been purchased and returned about four times already. It literally got purchased like within an hour of it being officially listed on the site. It was returned after like four days. Then right after being relisted, it was purchased again after about an hour. Then the same thing happened again. And I think it's pending a return right now. I don't know why everyone wants it and then it's not working for them. Maybe the sizing's weird or something, but it's in demand, just not working for people. Giorgio Armani striped silk tie price of 25 bucks works for me from that same tie lot andrew mark long sleeve turtleneck sweater this was a bin sign a lot of these are bin signs i'm noticing this one is actually really cute and i didn't know it was men's until their picture was posted this i wasn't too impressed with in the bins like i said it's really cute now that they put it in this picture they priced it 115 they actually took this on the first time i sent it in even though like i said andrew mark is not on their list so that's cool so now that is 
actually all of the stuff that they took from me for the past month. I didn't send in as much as I did in September. That was just by chance. I guess I just didn't find as much. So now we're gonna move on to what sold for me in this month of October. And let's start off with the first item, these Vince Mid-Rise Skinny Pants with tags. So these were a TJ Maxx find and I paid up a bit for them. I think I paid like $15 because the retail was like near 400. Didn't work for me on Posh. So I ended up sending them in and I ended up getting 1560. So I made 60 cents. Probably could have just found that on the ground at TJ Maxx. Lessons learned. Next was this St. John Sport High Rise Wide Leg Pants. Now I send my St. John to Thread Up Lux. Yes, Ryan and I will be doing a video on Thread Up Lux. We have now officially tried it. I've sent in a few packages. Ryan is now sending in his second. And so we have our thoughts and opinions kind of formed on that. So look forward to that in the future. Subscribe so you don't miss out on it. Just plugging that in there. Um, but these St. John Sport pants only sold for 25 bucks the person got half off because they've been there for a long time and I got ten dollars sure I paid like seven or eight once again garbage money <laughs> that Saks Fifth Avenue cashmere knit purple v-neck actually sold already it seems like every time they take Saks Fifth from me though it takes a while it sells pretty quick so cough cough real real maybe you should start taking Saks Fifth I don't know a thought um it sold for 68 bucks because they always get 20% off of almost everything and that gave me 27 20 but that that was a bin spine, so that's cool. Andrew Mark leather shoulder bag. This was similar situation as the Biasia bag, and I paid like two fifty for it, I think. And it sold for thirty five bucks because the person got thirty percent off, and I got fourteen. AGL patent leather kilty accented loafers. These sold for fifty two bucks. The person got thirty percent off, and I got twenty one. I had tried these on my Posh and eBay and Mercari for ever and no one ever wanted them. They had a ton of likes. I sent out such low offers. And so I gave up and I sent them into the real real and they sold quick, not too much money that I made, but they sold quick and that's what matters. Tory Burch knit lightweight cardigan. This sold for $27.50 and gave me $11. This, they got half off of the original price. This was a really not pretty Tory Burch cardigan in my opinion. I believe I got this in the bins. I don't imagine paying very much for this because even in my hands, not on a mannequin. I would have known this isn't the most pretty thing in the world. Hot or hot hippie. I do not know how you pronounce that. Sleeveless color block tank. This was actually new with tags. It was online arbitrage. I had listed it twice. I had actually sent it in once, had it sent back to me, listed it on my Poshmark again, sent it into the real real again after it wasn't doing well, and left it there because I gave up on it. And it sold for $15 and gave me $15 because the person got 70% off and I got $7. 50. So if you ever see this tank top by Hot Hippie, new or not, don't buy it. Alice and Olivia plaid long sleeve top. This I really should have had sent back to me and I should have listed. It would have been perfect for fall. I love the colors of it. It sold for also only $15 because the person got 70% off and I got $7.50. That was probably money lost. S Max Mara pony hair woven cufflinks. These sold for 35 bucks. The person got 30% off the original price and I got 14. I know that I paid $3 for these. They were new with tag. I just happened to stumble upon two pair of these one time when I was out sourcing and I think the other one sold last month and you guys saw that in the last video. Rebecca Taylor lace accented sweatshirt. This sold for $45.50 with the person getting 30% off and I got $18.20. I actually had this listed for quite a while. Sometimes Rebecca Taylor can do really good on Posh, sometimes it doesn't. This one wasn't doing very well. I'll take $18.20. That's not too bad. North Face lightweight zip up sweatshirt. This sold for $42. The person got 30% off and I got $16.80. Fine, 1680 out of a dollar. That's fine with me. Max Mara suede strap sandals. I did pay $20 for these, I know that. And they sold for 70 bucks. The person got 30% off and I got 28. So at least I didn't lose money. They weren't doing good on Posh at all. Max Mara isn't really a Poshmark brand. Usually I send it into them. Norma Kamali knee length button dress. This sold for 30 bucks. They got half off and I got $12. This was online arbitrage from Thread 
up actually way back in the day when I had some coupon or something. And I think I ended up paying seven bucks about for this after shipping and everything. I got 12, it's money made at least. Burberry Vintage Trench Coat. I pay about 30 to 50 for all of these. And it sold for 135, the person got 40% off and I got 94.50, so I'm actually very okay with that. That is an item that I get 70% on the sale price. Current Elliott Low Rise Skinny Pants. These sold for 20 bucks, they got 60% off and I got eight bucks. That's probably me breaking even. Reed Crack Off Leather Peep Toe Pumps. If I'm getting some of these names wrong, it's because what I'm looking at, I can't see the end of the titles, so I'm kind of just making it up. These sold for 32.50, they got half off and I got 13. That I believe is money lost. Andrew Mark Nylon Puffer Jacket. It sold for $70. The person got 60% off of the listing price. And I got $49 because I got 70% of the sale price on that. And that's not too bad actually. North Face Fleece Zip Up Jacket. This sold for 36 bucks. Gave the person 40% off of the listing price and I got 14.40. Turning the bins into 14.40 works for me. North Face Zip Up Texture Jacket. Same situation that was found in the bins. Same prices it sold for actually. And so yeah, again, $14.40 out of like a dollar. That's fine. Rachel Zoe Wool Blend Sweater. This was another bins fine. This sold for 30 bucks. They got half off and I got $12. Burberry Suede Captel Oxfords. This was an online arbitrage situation. I believe I paid $25 for these. They sold for $105 and the person got 40% off of what the real real listed it at and I got $52.50. So I doubled my money and that's okay with me. Saks Fifth Avenue Medium Weight Cardigan. This sold for $112.50. That's shocking to me. That's half off of what they listed it at. I don't know why they listed it so high. I actually remember making the first Real Real update video on this and having it be in my accepted by them section of the video and I was like, why are you pricing this so high? I got 78.75, so that is a really good flip. That is from the bins. Hot Hippie, asymmetrical knit tank top. Mm, these damn Hot Hippie tank tops. I, no, don't get them. This sold for $20. The person got 60% off and I got eight. I think I did pay like three bucks for this, but just eight. $8 on something that retails at like 145 mm -mm. St. John High Rise Straight Leg Pants. These sold for 24 bucks. The person got 60% off and I got 960. That's probably a break even for me. Again, if I was using ThreadUp at the time, I would have sent it there. Karen Millen Semi Sheer Textured Blouse. This sold for 15. The person got 70% off and I got 750. That is a loss of money for sure. Theory Wool Blend Structured Blazer. This sold for 42. They got 30% off and I got 1680. This was a bins find, I believe. Burberry Button Up Knee length coat. This sold for $137.50. The person got half off and I got $96.25. I will take that money. Adrian Vittadini. Yeah, they took that. I don't know why. Knee length knit skirt. Sold for 15 bucks. The person got 70% off and I got 750. That was a bins find and I literally was trying it almost sarcastically. Yet they took it, don't know why, but I'll take 750 off of a bins find. And the final sale for the month is actually a return request in process. This Cinzi Aroka long wool coat. I cannot tell you how much I love this coat. If it sells, I will get 70% of three $325. I don't know why the person's returning it, but they've had this return case open for a long time. When you buy something on the real real, you get like 14 days to start a return and then you get like seven more to ship it. It's kind of a lot of time. This has been sold for a while. I kind of don't think this person's going to end up returning it. So then I do believe it will be added onto my October payout. So fingers crossed on that one. And that is it. That is all I have for you for October 2019 for the real real hopefully for those of you who are watching you enjoyed this video let me know if you did and let me know if you're trying the real real yourself i have heard from multiple people that because of watching these videos they see that the real real can be a successful way to make some money obviously win some you lose some with the real real because you don't always get that much from it but it can be a really fast way to sell stuff and it can be a way to get rid of stuff that wouldn't really do that well on other platforms because they have an audience that i don't think any other platform really kind of has a hold of thank you for watching 
watching, be sure to like and subscribe and turn on notifications. And once again, I would like to remind you that Ryan and I are going to be doing a live show on Saturday the 16th in two days at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. And I will put the times below right here of what it is in other time zones, but I hope to see you guys there. Still don't really know what we're doing yet. We kind of just want to talk to you guys and hang out because we've only done one live and the other live we did, we answered questions the whole time. We didn't get to talk much. We were in a rush. So we want to just spend time with you guys because it's fun. We're probably going to eat Taco Bell because what else do we do? But yeah, thank you for watching. Goodbye.